Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Trip, and welcome to a special edition of That's a Shoot. This is usually on Friday, sometimes on Saturdays when we're doing the predictions episode of a pay-per-view that's on Sunday, but we have a pay-per-view on tomorrow. So the predictions episode is today. We're predicting Crown Jewel. On my on the year, I am 72 and 22. Last time on Extreme Rules, I went 5 and 2. We have 9 matches. No special one today because you can't come up with the one for this episode. So, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it um, with our predictions episode. No no, no other uh, thoughts. On you. Probably go into the whole AEW and Rich DDB stuff. On Friday, but all you need to know is WWE won. Forget what everybody else says. Anybody who said talks about demos is prop is they're talking about propaganda and they're losers, right? Losers, the big losers. WWE won huge. So, um, poor old Donald Trump, but <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's, we're not gonna go into that. This is just about Crown Jewel and the predictions. Let's get right to it. First up. As normally when it comes to the Saudi Arabia pay-per-views, Mansoor has a match. He's taking on Mustafa Ali. Afterwards, Mustafa Ali and and and, um, and uh, Mansoor had been teaming the last couple of months, coming together to try and fix what was going on with them and everything like that. You know, try to uh, Mustafa Ali trying to take his wing, but they decided. Match at Crown so Mansoor can have a match in his hometown of Saudi Arabia, his home state, his home country of Saudi Arabia. So, obviously, this is one of maybe the easiest prediction Mansoor beats Mustafa Ali. So, for the Queen's Crown final, we have Zelina Vega versus Dewdrop. A surprising final, particularly when you look at the bracket and you, and you pretty much thought, well, it's probably going to be Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler. So, but it ends up being Dewdrop versus Elena Vega. So, here we have it. Um, there's been some talk, some rumors about speculation about why uh, Tina Baylor isn't, you know, in the finals. Maybe she's not somehow allowed to go to Saudi Arabia for whatever reason. Uh, you know, none was ever really given or anything like that. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to speculate on anything like that. Um... That's target, or maybe it's just the fact that you know when the came the Queen's Crown tournament, they said, you know, well, Dewdrop and Zelina Vega, and then that's what they just two that just said, and um, and that, so I mean, when you look at it, you know, Queen Zelina would be fun. I think it would be fun. It would be interesting. It would be it would be fun to see what that goes to, but you know, Queen Dewdrop. I guess you could put it on Dewdrop because obviously once all of this gets over and Becky Lynch is on Raw, right, and she's on Raw and she's the champion, I'm guessing that's just what you, you know, that's what you want to do, right? You want to just put, you know, the champion on the show. Um, and then maybe you want to give us, you don't want her to continue to feud with Bianca Belair. You want to give her some other competitors and maybe what you the first one you want to do is you want to give her the queen of the ring basically so I'm, I'm not sure personally i would love to see selena vega win it i think that that's 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 a good uh that's a good start for um maybe the the firing that happened and that's a good makeup for um you know also firing her her husband but you know i think mm, I don't know. I, I just I just got a feeling it's gonna be Dewdrop. So I, I'm I'm saying Dewdrop is gonna be your first ever Queen's Crown winner. In the finals of the King of the Ring, you have Finn Balor versus Xavier Woods. Now I talked about this a week or two ago that you know, this kind of felt like that this could be a, a place where the demon would come out, and it would be Xavier Woods versus the demon. 
And you know, then that's and that's how you would not put the title on Xavier Woods and you would get the demon back and he would be in the demon king would actually be the demon king for real. It would also be a good way to turn Finn heel, right? And then have him feud with with Big E because you have so many people who's ready to feud with Big E. You have AJ Styles who once he gets through with this RK Bro stuff, AJ Styles is ready. You could turn from Bella Hill, he'll be ready. Um, there's many others, you know, that that, uh, that that are on Raw that could be re- stacked up and be ready to feud with Mr. Big E. So, and and you, and you have time too because now you because now you're going into the Raw versus SmackDown episode uh, version of the year with Survivor Series. So now you can build these other guys up to be the, you know, big. So a Finn Balor Hill turn, you know, could be. You could almost you could be. I don't want to say a slow burn. A slow burn is almost. It's like it's like a few months of this. It's a few months of this, you know, of of, of doing this. But it could, you know, but you you can do it within three or four weeks. And in, in the, in the 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 Monday before the show, you could have Finn Balor turn on Big E. And then that leads to Finn Balor versus Big E at TLC. It it would be awesome, but. But then the other thing is, do you want to give, you know, Xavier Woods his due? Do you want to give him that? This is another one that is very interesting. Um, see, for me, I'm one of those guys where, it, it, you know, see, see, everybody wants, you know, the feel good, feel good story, right? But I, I also like storytelling. And I, I think, I think a great story would be, is Xavier wants this so bad, and he loses. Then he comes back next year and finally wins it, right? Because that's what, that's the way to go about it. So, for me, I'm going to say Finn Balor wins and he becomes the king of the ring. The Raw Tag Team Championships are on the line. I just talked about this. RK Bros taking on AJ Styles and Omos. Um, to me, I, I don't think they do... I think the only title change they've done, well, no, they've done two, actually. You no, know, they've done the one when um, Roman had to release it um, because of cancer. Then they had um, Brock and, and, and uh, Braun have the match. And, Brock and, Braun. and then, of course, they did the whole Goldberg thing before the pandemic happened uh, <laughs> in last year. So, um, well, I, I don't think there's going to be a tag title change here. I, again, I think RK Bro stands, stands tall. And like I said, I think they're gonna, you know, I think they can and they should move AJ Styles into the main event scene, and and, and that, that that would also give almost a lot of chance to continue to work on the uh, on the fundamentals back at the uh, at the at the, at the uh, performance center. Uh, so yeah, I I I I, I see this as uh, a victory for RK Bro. Defeating AJ Styles almost, although it, it could, they could very well put titles back on AJ Styles and almost. I don't think they would do it here though. So I'm gonna say RK Bro retains the Raw Tag Team Champions. You know, I know there is a, there is like an edict in uh, in WWE where, um, it's pretty much been like said that Roman Reigns is going to be the main event of every show. Um. That's just the way it is. It's, 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 it's about his. It's, it's not only about like the work he's doing, but it's also about his character. Being the head of the table, the tribal chief, you're uh, you're either the first to go on or you're the last to go on. You don't go on in the middle. And I'm gonna say that Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar goes on last. However, if they wanted to switch it up and have Roman and Brock go on first. This next match would be worthy of going on last. Great build, love the story. Seth Rollins versus Edge inside hell in a cell. Incredible, incredible timing for these guys. And um, and I I I, I really just I, I enjoyed everything about this. The match at SummerSlam was great. The match on on, on SmackDown was uh, was great. Um, love the story. Love love, love the story of him going into the town and. Uh, going, going and 
you know, finding Edge's house and going there and doing all that other stuff. I think I don't even think he could have been more of a dick, and he could have you know done some other things, you know, inside the house other than just just stay there and, and just be you know be ready, you know, wait for Daniel and David to to get there. Um. So I I, I think I think this is good. Both are going over to Raw. So, the, 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 in, in theory, this feud could still continue, but this should be the ending of this feud. And Seth Rollins is another person that you say, hey, you know, he's another person that's, is, that could be a perfect foil for Big E to go on to and face. And, uh, you know, they, they can obviously at some point maybe do an Edge Big E match. That, 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 that could be on a Monday Night Raw. That, that could be on, on, on an episode of Monday Night Raw, you know, over the next couple months. It doesn't have to be at a, at a pay-per-view. So, um, and, and listen, and, 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 it, and, it, and it doesn't do anything with Edge. Edge is a Hall of Famer. We know about Edge. It doesn't hurt Edge. So, uh, nothing really hurts Edge in, in theory. So, I, I think really what you have to do is this, 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 this has to be See, if this was old school, if this was old school. What what this would be, I think, or what this would be is that you would you would you would have Edge kind of destroy Seth Rollins. He would like bust him open and everything like that, and that's how he would get his that's how he would get his revenge. But Seth Rollins would maybe do something to turn the tide and get and, and get a a a kind of cheap vic cheap cheap. Type of victory, although you can't get a cheap type of victory in Hell in a Cell, but he would do something to get that, and then he would get the victory, and then he would escape with his life, basically. Uh, and they could still do that, you know. It says that's what then does not won't we'll do without the, the blood. So, uh, so I, I would guess the right one here is for Seth Rollins to win. So, uh, um, so I'm going to say Seth Rollins wins the Hell in a Cell match. You know, I was going to say something about us seeing a live murder in Saudi Arabia, but maybe that was not the right way to go uh, <laughs> with the history and everything like that. Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg, no disqualification match. Um, listen, Goldberg has been talking about, he's been using the term killing Bobby Lashley um, at Saudi Arabia. So, I, I'm, I, you, know, I, you know, again, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know, Goldberg just had surgery, and he, he said he's not even fully healthy. So I'm not sure what they're necessarily going to do here at uh, at, at Crown Jewel. Um, I, I, I worry about, you know, how this is going to go over with not only the fans there, but the fans here watching. Um, to me... This is something that, you know, what you do is you, you, again, it's, you know, it, it is kind of a toss up because Bobby Lashley has lost his last couple of matches with Big E, right? And, uh, he, you know, he, he lost a triple threat match to Roman Reigns and he's, he's lost, you know, you know, to Big E and everything like that. And, uh, twice. So, you know, you would think he probably Lashley would need a win. But doesn't the story say that Goldberg needs to get revenge on Bobby Lashley for what he did to his son? Isn't that the story that you're telling? So maybe some, so maybe Bobby Lashley picks up wins afterwards, and, and and maybe he'll be the sole survivor for the men's team at Survivor Series. Maybe that's the way they'll, they'll you know, fix Bobby Lashley. And who knows, maybe Bobby Lashley will even win the, win the Royal Rumble, and it'll be him and Big E at the WrestleMania uh, one more time. But, I, but I, I, yeah, to me, it is common sense that says you need to get revenge on on on, on Bobby for, you know, what he did to what did Goldberg's son. So, yeah, I'm going to say Goldberg wins. For the WWE Championship, we're going to have Drew McIntyre versus Big E. This is a, you know, good, good versus good match, and... You know, this is what Big E wants, big, meaty men, stop the meat. Um, and uh, and it's not, <laughs> as he said, not going to be your five-star classics. Um, but it's just, it still should be good. 
Uh, and Drew McIntyre is going over to, to, you know, he's going over to SmackDown. Uh, I don't think he's taking a WWE Championship with him. Um, I think it's, again, it's probably not, you know, if, 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 they, if, they, if they didn't, well, I shouldn't say that because Big E can still lose it at, you know, at the, 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 the before Survivor Series. So, but I, I just don't see that happening. So, um, so here it is. I think it's this is one, this is another easy one. I think I think Big E retains. He, he seems to be championship, and yeah, and then I think he goes on and he's going on to face Roman Reigns at uh at Survivor Series, and uh, it's gonna be a another. Match of big meaty men stepping me. For the SmackDown Women's Championship, Becky Lynch taking on Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. Now, if Bianca Belair would have won the Raw Women's Championship, I would have said that Sasha Banks here would have won the SmackDown Women's Championship, and that way he would have been on both shows. But after Charlotte Flair retains her Raw Women's Championship, to me, it just makes sense that Becky Lynch retains. It also makes sense that when you're going to Survivor Series, you want to have, you want to have, um, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. Because that's going to be a marquee matchup. You want that. Unless they do another another last second title change and that. And then, because, again, I don't think, I don't think they're going to do one with the Universal or WWE Championship. So maybe they do one with, do one with the women's where Becky or, or Charlotte loses before the Survivor Series. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think that's what the deal is. So, um, Again, uh, a, a second women's match, another history. First, Crown Jewel called to have two women's matches. Um, and, and hopefully that does happen. I'm worried that when they get there, the government will say, nah, just choose with one, just one women's match, and then we'll, you know, and then, and then you know, they're obviously going to do this one, and Dewdrop and Zelina Vega would have gone there for nothing. But um, that being said, I'm picking Becky Lynch to retain her SmackDown Women's Championship, and we'll get a title switch, title swap between Becky and Charlotte. And of course, for the Universal Championship, Roman Reigns taking on Brock Lesnar. This is probably the most worried I've been about this, um, about, about about a Roman Reigns match. <sighs> hmm. Probably, probably to, to date, I, I I was I was a little bit worried about the SummerSlam match with John Cena. I was, but uh, I pretty much thought he was gonna. This one, I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. I'm not, especially with the reports that they want to do Roman and Brock again at WrestleMania. Since now, they obviously know that they, you know, they can't do The Rock, you know, and, and Roman at WrestleMania. And, and, see, and, see, and, see, and here's my thing on that. Because, and the reason why I'm worried is because I, I think the story is, and, 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 and maybe this is on me. You know, I always always say that you know, you know, you know the fans need to blame themselves for their quote unquote dislike of what is you know of what WWE does because they fantasy book in their head how they want stuff to go, and when it doesn't come to fruition, you know, then I'm at, oh I didn't I didn't like it or they didn't give me what I wanted yada yada yada. But the, the, the WWE is telling a story. So I fancy booked in my head the story of Roman Reigns being the dominant Universal Champion and being the, you know, the head of the table, the tribal chief, all of that, for as as long as possible, and him losing the Universal Championship is what causes him to go after The Rock because he wants because he goes and he wants acknowledgement. You know, so Roman Reigns, he goes all, you know, he goes and he beats everybody, right? beats everybody, and, he, and then he's, he wants the acknowledgement for all his family, from Offa and Sika and the Ozos and everybody else, 
that's a, that's you know re related to the Samoan dynasty, and he doesn't get it from the Rock, or at least he doesn't get it the way he wants it. Maybe the Rock gives it to him via satellite on tape delay, but he wants it in person. Paul, why didn't why didn't Dwayne come in person? You know, things things like that, and then that that causes and then, then when when the Rock is finally in person to acknowledge him, you know, or he, maybe maybe he. he he doesn't acknowledge him in person, you know, something like that. That causes him to get flustered and lose the championship. And he goes up to the Rock, and his, the reason why he lost the championship is because of the Rock. He attacks the Rock, and that's what leads to the match at WrestleMania between him and the Rock. When to, to be the true head of the table, the true tribal chief, he needs to take down the Rock, and he does. Right? That's the the story. But what, but what if but what if the story is 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 that you know Roman Reigns just can't seem to beat Brock Lesnar for real? I mean he should he, he beat him at SummerSlam, but did he you know was it was it really that because you can because you can say you know you can say that you know this that SummerSlam match was you know it was just a uh, you know. Maybe that, you know, Brock Lesnar knocked himself out because the chair fell on his face. So maybe not just Brock Lesnar knocked himself out, you know, or anything like that. So, huh. and I don't know. So, so I, and I don't know. And, 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 here's the, and is this match going to be, again, power move, power move, power move, you know, spear, 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 F5, F5, F5. F5. You know, or are they gonna go out and have you know what they've been claiming to have one of the best matches of you know you know of the year. So I, I'm really worried. I'm gonna choose Roman Reigns just because I, I even even if they still you know cause I think they still know that right now Roman with the title is still what's best for business. He'll be he'll bring he'll bring that championship. Every SmackDown, every Friday night on SmackDown, and he'll raise that championship, and it'll still be there, you know. And he won't be on Brock Lesnar's chest. Now, I guess the question would be that if Drew McIntyre beats Big E for the WWE Championship, that's when I'll I'll be I'll really be worried because then Drew McIntyre would go to SmackDown with the WWE Championship, and then maybe of course they'll do Reigns and Drew there and. Rings would be drew for that, but oh boy! And they and they mentioned it on SmackDown. You said Roman Reigns wants to get past this 500-day reign of Brock Lesnar. He's not doing it, you know, with this. You know, he's not doing it, losing it to to Lesnar. So it's got to be Reigns. It's got to be Reigns. It's got to be. So to recap, Mansoor will defeat Mustafa Ali. Dewdrop will be the first ever Queen's crown winner. Finn Balor will truly be the Demon King, winning the King of the Ring. RK Bro will retain the Raw Tag Team Championship. Seth Rollins will escape Hell in a Cell by defeating Edge. Goldberg will get revenge for his son. He won't murder Bobby Lashley, but he'll beat him up pretty bad. Big E will retain the WWE Championship. Becky Lynch will retain her SmackDown Women's Championship, and Roman Reigns will retain the Universal Championship. Going to be a fun night. Well, actually, not a fun night. It's going to be a fun day because it's 12 Eastern tomorrow. It's Crown Jewel. And guess what, folks? After Crown Jewel, you can come back here and watch the rapid reaction of me breaking down Crown Jewel and everything that went down. So make sure if you're here, you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that when I go live, you can join in and we can talk about what went down on Crown Jewel. Right? Yeah. All right, folks. Post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Post your predictions about what you think will happen at Crown Jewel. What do you think of my predictions? And yes, just your overall thoughts about everything. Yeah, post it down in the comment section. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. 
And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.